Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and welcome to the Year of the Rat special of the Top 5 series. Now, one thing that I really appreciate when it comes to Blizzard and the Overwatch team for doing in the fourth year of Overwatch events is still finding very tasteful themes and implementing them into the form of skins. While I understand there's going to be a lot of people coming to this video saying the skins were lame, the event was a disappointment, not enough legendaries, this, that, and the other, I just gotta say, it's been like this for a minute. Just like me in bed, you should have been ready to be disappointed. <laughs> but if you just go in with an open mind or at least just willing to learn about some of these skins, you would come to find out that a lot of these skins that came with this specific event are surprisingly well done for the fact that this is the fourth Lunar New Year event. Because again, they're still going into the depths of Chinese, Asian, and South Korean culture and, and trying to find some good themes that they can make into skins for specific heroes. And I can always applaud Blizzard and the Overwatch team for doing that. But even though I appreciate Blizzard, Blizzard for doing all the work that they did with this event, it still pains me to say that the Year of the Rat event didn't have a Junkrat skin. And I think that's the biggest disappointment that I, I think is justified. But we got a cute highlight intro that goes in tandem with the Rodox highlight intro. But even without a Junkrat legendary skin, we got a whole batch of amazing, well done, and high quality legendary skins. Enough to make another top five video where we can rank them, talk about them, and also talk about the inspiration behind it so that maybe, just maybe, you can have a little bit more of appreciation for the skin. And that's definitely what happened with me for the number five spot because at first I didn't understand the skin I don't know why he got it but then learning about it it makes perfect sense this will be Lucio's Samuel Nori skin one thing about the year of the rat event is that there was a lot more emphasis on South Korean culture and this is definitely one of those skins that takes inspiration from that because what Samuel Nori is is basically traditional South Korean music but with percussion instruments now if you know anything about Lucio you know he loves his music and even though Lucio is most often tied with modern electronic music, that doesn't mean he can't have a love with more traditional music or stuff with physical instruments. And that's definitely portrayed in this skin. And that's what I love about the Overwatch team is that whenever they make a Lucio skin, you know it's going to be somewhat related to music because that's what happened with the Jazzy skin or normally, again, electronic music turned into a jazz artist. Here, Lucio is going to be represented in the form of the type of music that is played in South Korea during the Lunar New Year event or just during the whole entire year because this is just normal South Korean music. And also with an instrument that is, well, a traditional South Korean drum. And you see that throughout the whole entire skin with his backpack and even with his gun. I feel like a gun with a lot of these skins are often forgotten about unless it's just mind-blowingly awesome like the Lunar New Year Zarya skin a while back with the serpent. Here you have that drum on the gun or at least the end of the gun which is supposed to represent the drum of the Samuel Nori type of music. And even though I'm praising this skin for its looks, inspiration, and transforming a more western hero into more eastern traditional clothes and ideas I just can't put it any higher man I just don't like it that much every skin at the end of the day is subjective you might think this is the best skin but you also might be a Lucio man so that might be the reason why you like this skin and why you studied Samuel Nori for the whole entire night the event dropped but for me it looks too similar to other skins that we got like the Tracer McCree skin had a baby and had Samuel Nori it looks cool but not enough for a higher spot. If you're not upset at the fact that this is at the number five spot, then you definitely will be once you see what's at the number four spot because this skin ain't even out yet, but that's what happens when we get some skin challenges skins that look so good as Hammond Paper Cutting. Now, I don't understand the name, but it don't matter because what I need to understand here is the fact that we got the cutest golden boy of all time. Move over, Bob. You're not the thickest golden here anymore because a hamster is taking your spot. I'm not even kidding, Hammond. He's low-key thick. Someone at Blizzard for real woke up one day, had their morning coffee and cereal, got in a fight with their wife while they're on the brink of divorce, went into the offices and looked Jeff Kaplan in the eye and said, we're making Hammond into a golden boy. And Jeff Kaplan said yes. And I'm so glad that he did. Hammond paired up with the Hammond Golden Guns is a match made in heaven. And I haven't even started talking about his mech. His mech, well, it's not that 
flashy. The idea behind it is cool. Don't really understand it because I couldn't really find any articles talking about the inspiration behind it. I'm sure it has something to do with like cutting out patterns in paper like the Genji emote that we saw previously. And actually taking a second look at the skin, I'm pretty sure that is where the inspiration does come from because you see that beautiful design seen throughout the whole entire ball. Honestly, a very simple design, but I'll take any ham and skin at this point because I just love this hamster boy and you can never have too many ham and skins. Unfortunately, we do have to wait till week three to be able to unlock the skin, but for the number three spot, we can unlock it right now, unless you're broke, which we all know you are, because if you're watching me, a broke boy, you're probably a broke boy too. The number three spot is gonna go to Mora's Mass Dancer skin. <laughs> the idea behind Mass Dancer is kind of self-explanatory if you want it to be, but there is a little bit more ideas if you go deeper into it, because it does take inspiration from a Korean dance Dance characterized by a character that is named Talchum. Ta 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 I'm sorry, South Korea. This doesn't happen often whenever you Google something, but whenever you Google like Talchum, this is the exact same dress, same exact mask, and the same exact idea that we see with the Mora skin. And even some glimpses of the Ana skin that she received way back during the Year of the Rooster event. And now luckily, Ana has a friend that whenever she stands by my bedside during my sleep paralysis, they both can haunt me and both torture me and tickle my toes because both of these skins are just so scary and creepy, but I think that's kind of the point. <laughs> you see tons of similarities between the two skins, the colors on the sleeve, the mask, and the beautiful, colorful attire. Like, even though I'm kind of <laughs> low-key making fun of this skin for how scary it is, which, again, I think is the point, it's still beautiful for what it is. I love the idea, but most importantly, I love the fire in the eyes. Like, I love animated skins, which is why you're gonna see me love the number one spot. But when it comes to the fire in her eyes, while it's not the most flashiest addition to a skin, it's still one of those things that is deeply appreciated that we're starting to see little by little in a lot more of these skins because they have such little skins to work on that they can kind of add these animated features where beforehand, they probably would have just given Mora a mask and called it a day. But if I had a choice between skinny, fiery-eyed mask lady or a beautiful skinny legend now for whatever reason I think I'm gonna go with the latter because at the number two spot this will be Brigida and her uh, opera skin Oprah I'm gonna say Oprah just to piss a lot of people off <laughs> Brigida looks absolutely stunning in this skin her clothes her makeup even her shield is beautiful the thing that everybody hates like if I saw Brigida in front of me I would want her to bash me and whip me and spank me I, what what the emboss flower or lotus at the front of the shield along with the curvatures to make the outline of the shield itself is such a nice little touch her flail I, I feel like there's not much to talk about don't really understand the the design purpose of the flail but it still looks cool but come on my boys we gotta talk about Brigida this is a skin while the accessories are cool the skin itself is even more beautiful and is the star of the show. You know Brigitte dropped at least a rack to be able to get her makeup done because she's got her blush, she's got her eyebrows on fleek, and she's got a wingtip that'll cut any boy's pee-pee off that decides to hurt this fragile little girl because my god does she suck now! But aside from her very beautiful face that I just want to pinch and squeeze, her clothes too are amazing. Now I wish I could talk more about her clothes, but I couldn't really find anything that can draw a or what the idea was when making this skin, but it doesn't matter because the headpiece, the backpack with all the flags, and the flower or lotus that you see throughout the whole entire skin as well, it's just a beautiful skin that makes it all come together that honestly could be a top 10 skin if I really really want to push for it. But it can't be. Want to know why? We got the skin. The 2020 skin. Like, this is the best skin of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one skin to come out of the Lunar New Year event is another Brigida skin, and it's the Brigida Goat skin for the Overwatch! Y'all thought y'all had sleep paralysis demons? That's gonna be your next one. The Goat Brigida skin. No. Face changing Sombra. Remember how I said I love animated skins with Mora? Boy, oh boy, this is something that I love. Like, I, I like this. 
I like the skin a lot. This is the pinnacle of creativity that you honestly get with the trade-off for lack of legendary skins. Like they wouldn't be able to do this if they had to make three or four more legendary skins because you gotta think, not only do they have to make the skin itself and make it look cool, but they also have to animate it with somber, with the highlight and shows, with the emotes, while you're playing and you're feeding and you're sucking at me. Just at me, okay? They have to do so much, but I'm so glad that something like this came into Overwatch at this specific event because not only did we get a good handful of great skins and even a new capture the flag mode, but we also got the 2020 skin. No other skin is going to beat this skin unless they animate it because this skin, while well, yes, it's cool, it's awesome looking, it's dope, the idea behind it, the inspiration, something I've been harping about throughout this whole entire video is perfect as well because mass dancers as you saw with Mora and even Anna is very <laughs> heavily embedded into the Chinese and Korean culture while celebrating the Lunar New Year or just celebrating in general. But what I love most about this skin or the second thing that I love most about this skin is that Blizzard took a Western hero like Sombra and incorporated enough Eastern inspired things to make a Chinese New Year skin to have a perfect blend of both types of cultures because obviously we have the more Asian like mask like with Lubu and Blue Mask, but we also have a Sugar Skull mask, which is most often correlated with Dia de los Muertos, a Mexican inspired holiday. But on top of that, we also have the mask changing in a much more digital form to give it that somber type vibe that makes it a somber exclusive skin that Moira or Arissa or Tracer couldn't ever have. But on top of all that, the thing that I love the most about this skin is that the crosshairs on Sombra's gun changes in correlation to the mask that she's wearing. It's just such a nice little touch. Oh, I love this skin so much. I'm glad Blizzard is still trying to improve on their events. Are they succeeding? Most people would say no. But they did come out with a new game mode. They did bring us some good skins, good animated skins, which in my opinion, I'll take an animated skin that is so fitting for the hero that I absolutely cream myself than a few skins that I absolutely just don't care about like generals like I just don't care but anyway guys that was the top five best year of the rat skins please let me know what skins you did get or what your favorites are in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys later love you guys thank you guys for watching more of our videos to come and bye